What's going homo squad? It's your boy homo ziggy. We back in here with another reaction for y'all and I'm gonna be all right, I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. This is gonna be my second time reacting to this, but mainly because the first time when I reacted to it, my recording or so, like my screen recording app man, it was something else. So we here with Slade. A true menace to society, and this is by CJ the Champ. Now, y'all already know. I wanted to react to CJ the Champ for pretty much a long time, ever since when he's been reacted to by like Screwface John and Internet City, Monkey Prophets, and so on and so. Forth. So, I wanted him to put. I wanted to start putting him on the channel, cause let's face it. As for most people, they would want to do it whenever they're explaining an anime character or a cartoon character and such. That they would want to go into some mystics and so and so. With CJ, with him, you just straight up getting raw, uncut. You gonna get his type of entertainment comedy from it. And honestly, for a person like me, yeah. And especially with Slade, Teen Titans. The OG T Titans? Nah. Yeah, he was something else. So, we better check this out. And spoilers, there is going to be a few little few little times I might mute it because there is a certain part in here that I do not want to hear that might scare the shit out of me. But either way, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Ball hungry as a bitch. <laughs> Ain't nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on this glit. On this what? Yeah. 4K oh, nigga. You just gotten 4K nigga. What the hook? Shout out to CJ the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of play there you go. activity. Because today we got a special one. Because the last time we had one like this, it was about a good year ago. But ladies and gentlemen, Omni -Man. stepping up to the plate, the teenage tormentor himself, Slade, the childhood menace, the master manipulator. This is one of the most devious, vile, disgusting things to ever do this shit. Man, it's been a minute since we've done a cartoon character, but man, y'all already know we got the evidence on that. And the fact that this was supposed, he was a, this was from a freaking kid show. And I've watched this when I was younger. If y'all are real OG Cartoon Network fans, like the OG Cartoon Networks, like from Boomerang and such, y'all let me know in the comments. But I'm just saying, the fact that he been, he done shit like this. And this was supposed to be a cartoon show, nigga. Just saying. It's finally, time to observe the master of the fade. So, without further ado, exhibit, exhibit A. A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. Pulling the strings and trolling. Man, oh man. So at the beginning of Teen Titans, all Slade was doing was just pulling strings and just staying in the shadows. Mm. Bro sent the hive to jump these niggas in the broad daylight just to start f***ing with them. They ended up using all of their ults at the same time and body robbing. Then later- Let's face it, the hive- I don't- I don't care if it's in the OG or the cartoon version. Let's face it. The Hive, as much as power they got, the Teen Titans always body them motherfuckers every single time. Just when you think like the Hive is about to gather some momentum, they just straight up end them. End them like that. So. Oh, they pulled up to their crib and started fing their shit up! Like, nah, bro, they was just enjoying their day, and then this man Slade sent the ops to pull up at their front door. So after they end up beating them, Robin picks up Gizmo, and he's like, hey, nigga, who the f*** is Slade? And Gizmo's like, hmm, I ain't telling you shit. I ain't no snitch. But nah, you this see, is already this the thing. Slade knew they were going to fail. 
the fact that he just sent them there because he know they were gonna fail well then again the the hive is that freaking manip he wasn't even trying to manipulate them and there was just a little pawn in the, his plan this man was like yeah i know they sorry as hell i knew they wasn't gonna do sh they was just some messengers and you see this man start playing robin on the screen over and over and over again asking who is slade mm. nah bro what the f this man was just giving them a teaser to what was going to happen to them later on. But nah, he was not done doing these pre-fight shenanigans. He got Cinder Block to break Plasmus out of jail while he's sitting down this dusty ass throne room plotting and shit thinking, hmm, who should I send to spin their block next? Then after this, he ended up disguising himself as an old man and actually ended up manipulating forces of nature, lightning and thunder to do his bidding. And then he started fighting Robin and Imagine that you were able to do something like that. Manipulating like freaking elements of wet elements of nature and such. Lightning and freaking thunder. I could be wrong and it's not elements, but you get what I'm saying. Even though it's cartoon, the fact that you got a power like that and you're manipulating them to do your bidding, nigga. Different type of mastermind. But Different. Has no clue who this is at all. So the man started swinging. He's like, "Yes, Robin. Good, Robin. <laughs> Good. I like what I see, Loka. Catch on the flip side." <laughs> So then later on, Slade ends up sending all of his Slade bots to jump the Titans and steal this chip. So while one of the bots is running away with the chip, Starfire's mm. like, "Please stop and hand the chip over." And this is where, and this is where I gotta say, I've said this already in my first one, but I'ma say it again. Starfire, look, even though we know, look, she one, she fine. I don't care what anybody say. She fine and she can get it. Two, we all know she loves. She can kick ass. Don't get it twisted, but girl, you gotta realize. Talk, trying to talk sweet, trying to talk reason with villains. This is what happens when you try to talk reason with villains. But then this nigga just looks at her. He's like, "Bitch <laughs> ass up." Nigga, <laughs> put a big old. You just got shot with the goddamn blood gun and you think girl <laughs> bro really pulled the blicky on her ass but now nah, they finally end up stopping the bot so robin's <laughs> like hey nigga quit playing with me who the f is slate so bro takes off the mask and this man slate is on facetime what hey what's going with you cuh hey listen listen I i've been really impressed with what you've been doing lately my guy i mean i wish i was there to whoop your ass in person but uh i don't think you're ready for that yet nigga. <laughs> So this man Robin ended up getting so obsessed with finding out who Slade. My nigga Slade turned him into the freaking Mariah. He Mariah carried that nigga. He made more, the fact that he made Robin so obsessed with him in order to want to take him down. But the end man. Slade is. He decided. You know what? I'm gonna become a criminal. So this man becomes. And that too. The fact that he was so upset. The fact that Robin was so obsessed with him. That he literally become a villain. In order to catch him. Meaning that he had to beat up his friends. Man you is. Red X starts stealing shit. Fighting his own team. Just to get closer to this nigga. He is obsessed. So later on, he finally ends up getting to meet Slade. So Slade comes up to him and he's like, impressive, impressive. We are just alike. So Robin's like, all right then, so what's your plan? Then this man Slade says, patience, you can't expect me to trust you yet, Robin. <laughs> this man- That nigga, he already knew you. Bet that he already knew that was you, Robin. Come on, man, you should've known. Slade like, <laughs> I mean, for goodness sakes, he sent out the hive, knowing that they were gonna fail, in order to start playing, in order to start pulling your cards, pulling the strings on your ass. He knew that they were gonna fail, 
but end up but end up being just one little pawn in his plan in order to mind fuck ya. You really thought he you really think he was gonna actually go through your little little shenanigan and think like ooh this is really a good villain now. Nah nigga he knew who you was. You didn't think I would know that it was you, <laughs> dumbass boy. Now you about to get jumped and I'm going to take your chain. But then everybody else ended up pulling up. So Robin just started chasing Mance. So while they're having this rooftop chase, Robin ends up jumping down to Slade. And Slade's like, careful, my boy. I don't want you getting hurt. Then he starts saying, <laughs> I don't want you getting you know, hurt when you're going to beat his ass. Like stealing shit so he can get kind of close to me. Two wrongs doesn't make a right, my boy. So then Robin starts swinging, but Slade is just like beating this kid. I was like, damn, did Batman teach you shit? Because you can't hit me for nothing. Then he ends up Leave Batman out of this. And throwing him all the way off of the building. So mm. when Robin's hanging on, he ends up falling. But Slade ends up grabbing him. So Robin's like, huh? Are, are, are you saving me? And then Slade says, Same. nah, I'm not done whooping your ass yet. Huh? The f nigga. You need to tell me you gonna save me. Just so he can whip my ass more. So then he whips this the back up. What the f Nah, nah, bro. That's absolutely wild. Bro really saved his life just to beat him some more. No, exactly. What the heck? So then Robin that's just lands savage. Hit. So he goes to take off the mask, but Ooh. homie is on FaceTime again. Hey, what's good with you, my boy? The hey, fucking music in the Everybody background. I could have been there today. I really wanted to whip your ass, but the hoes called up. You feel me? <laughs> the hoes. I can't miss a call with the hoes, my nigga. Hey, hey, that hey. was night with Lady Shiva. Ooh, ooh, boy, I tell you, I had her and Tali all ghoul on my dick. So, uh, I hope you like this gift I left you. So some time ends up passing after this, and we just get this absolute weird scene. So Robin is chasing Slade in like this canyon, and their movements look very similar to the rooftop chase scene. So Robin starts swinging, and Slade is just beating him just like he beat him on the roof. Like he's making this no for ragdoll physics. So Robin ends up destroying these pillars, and Slade's like, excellent work, Robin. We're just alike, equally ruthless. But Robin ends up socking him. He's like, I'm nothing like you. All you care about is destruction. And Slay's like, nigga, please, you destroy everything, Robin. And the dropped pillars ended up turning into stone faces of the Titans. So he takes off his mask and Thank sees you. his own face. And he starts laughing and shit. Oh, nah. And this was a dream do you know how much of a mind fuck that is? To go into somebody's mind. Thinking that they is whooping your ass. But instead flipping the, flipping the switch. And they whooping their own ass. Just to say that you're the destructive person. I'm not. Bro. What the ever loving F sequence the entire time. Oh my god, bro, he's fing with his head. Oh my god, bro, the psychological warfare is strong with this one. So that morning, Slade ends up calling him. Mm. Greetings, Titans. See, look, it's early. In the the freaking song. <laughs> this is what I'll be talking about when I say with CJ the champ, you're gonna get real comedy. Nigga putting freaking music in the background, like the freaking. Zoom like call and such. So look, I got this bomb right, and like I said, I'm gonna be very forward with you. I'm about to air this bitch out, plain and simple. Oh, and just mm. to let you know, this detonator can stop time. You feel me? So <laughs> I got the powers of Rodo. So uh, tick tock <laughs> pussies. This nigga is crazy. So they end up getting to the warehouse, and Robin is just beating the hell out of all the bots. He ain't saving none for nobody. Damn, Damn nigga. Look at him beating the hell out of this dead bot. Dog is channeling his inner Brian Fury right now. <laughs> so Starfire is like, Robin, stop, or you're getting no more of thy coochie for the rest of the week. But Robin's like, nah, f that. Where this nigga slay that? So then he Damn. ended up chasing down an innocent man, threw him on the wall, and started interrogating. You know what, CJ? I'm surprised. Well, then again, knowing how it would be copyright claim, I'm surprised you didn't put the Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? In the freaking something in here. Was well, like, hey, what's Slade at? Could tell me now. But then they ended up stopping him. 
they like, hey, bro, chill, it ain't that deep. But Robin's like, <laughs> deep? Nigga, fuck you know about deep? No, y'all sorry as hell, I'm going to find Slade. So finally, after all this time, Robin finds finally. Slade. So after freaking so many, nigga. The fact that they had to literally extend this old shit to freaking with Robin. Just so now we can realize now he finally, just so we can now see him face off with Slade. That just shows you freaking great, not only great, not only insanity on Robin's level, obsessity or and such, but just great development. Like, nigga, come on. Places. Wow. This is why I love the original Teen Titans. Like, bro, it's been 11 episodes, but I'm finally glad you made it. Now I got the detonator right here. You want it? Then come get it. So they get to scrapping and Slade just starts beating them again. This is like, come on now, Robin. You could do a little better than that. Now witness my ultimate attack. Flying. Tazumaki's a puke. The fuck you just said flying. Tazumaki's a puke. The hell you just said. Ooh, this is even a fight. This is a beating. Man, this yeah. Is like, mm, good technique. Then breaks his arm. Aye. Then he gives him a DBZ gut punch. And the thing is, Robin can is a uh, martial arts type of nigga. He can throw in kicks like that. You saw the fight scenes, but the fact that this nigga Slade is literally just saying, "Nah, fuck all that. I'm just beating the ever loving sh out of you." Like, look at that gut punch. That man's thinking about life differently after that one. But then Robin ended up raging out. So he grabs the detonator and he's like, yes, I've finally done it. But Slade's like, ha, uh, no, you did it. You see, there is no trigger because this is not a bomb. So the rest of the team was by this so-called bomb and they ended up getting shot by this laser gun. So then Slade explains his actual plan. The bomb the was just shirts. a distraction. That laser that he shot at everybody else ended up having probes on it. And with a push of a button, he could kill them at any second. So Robin's and like, this nah, is you can't mean. control them. But Slay says, but I can control you. You see, all of this trolling that I've been doing towards you, I was testing you. You see, you're going to become my apprentice. Because if you don't, I'm going to kill everybody else. So you have no choice. So he ended yeah. up manip- The fact that nigga, with just a push of a button, they all going, they could be turning to packs at this point. So the, oh, so that way, so as you see, the only way that Slade ain't going to do it is if this nigga Robin becomes his apprentice. Or in this terms, at this type of blackmail, or nigga at this point being his bitch. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's being his bitch. Manipulating this man to become his apprentice. So he got Robin out here stealing stuff, fighting his own friends, and mm. is just straight up abusing him. So this exactly. guy ended up making him rob Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Ooh, I know this nigga Bruce is mad. But then the <laughs> Titans pull up, so he dips. So Slade is in his earpiece like, Hey boy, the f*** you think you doing? You best go get your ass back in there and steal that chip. Or it's all off your friends right now. Stop playing with me. So Robin is <laughs> going to end up having to fight his own crew. So Starfire ends up holding him up. But then Slade in the earpiece again like, Hey boy, you better shoot her right now. I ain't playing with you, Robin. But Starfire doesn't want to shoot him, so Robin's like, I, I can't do this. Hey, nigga, didn't I tell you to shoot that bitch? I told you, boy, I ain't playing with you. So then he turns the probes on them. Oh my God. So then Robin just has to shoot him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then Robin gets back to the base. And then Crazy. he tries to swing on Slate, but he grabs his punch. Bro's like, hmm, that's a dishonorable punch. Like I told you, Robin. We're just alike. But then he starts beating this man again. Oh my goodness, bro. Somebody called child services. What it started talking. What Peter at? Y'all, well, not Peter. What the child service like he said that? was like, you ungrateful mother Ungrateful? What the fuck? You best call Batman right now. But then everybody else end up pulling up. So then Slade ends up using the probes on him, but Robin ends up pulling the probes on himself. So he has to stop using it, and then they just started jumping. Like they was like, teamwork makes the dream work. So Slade was like, ah, another day. This is just the beginning, motherfuckers.
So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's finally time to move on to Exhibit, exhibit B. B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, the manipulation. Ah, boy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> beast boy, beast boy, beast boy. And the thing is, it's always gotta be the blondes that go crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but sometimes they say blondes go, blondes have blondes have more fun well sometimes blondes are more crazy <laughs> where can i start with this one y you know what L let's just go ahead and get the elephant out the room. now there's a reason i'm focusing only on the 2003 one <laughs> because some of these other versions of deathstroke <laughs> oh boy i tell you so yeah, uh, back to our regular schedule programming. In the second season of Teen Titans, we meet Terra, this girl with earth-bending-like powers. Mm. So she ends up becoming friends with the Titans. And if you're friends with the Titans, Yo, you're on this, this man's radar. Yeah. So Terra has on a your head secret, it is that she can't control her powers. And Beast Boy is the only person that she tells this to. And she's like, Peaky promise, don't tell nobody. So later on, she teams up with the Titans to stop Slade. So she ends up getting separated and she sees Slade right running so she by the way guys if you hear any sorry and such you know i have to put the fan on me because just actually you know what? so y'all can hear my voice ends up chasing him and she ends up stopping him but then bro sweeps her and he's like huh, you falling for my trap so <laughs> dog traps her in this cave then he starts swinging on this defenseless girl. <laughs> then this man performed one of the most demonic gaslights of all time. You know, I wrote a clip. Ain't the bag up. You know, little girl, I know literally everything about you, right? You see, I've been watching you for days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, eons, since the beginning of time. Creepy uh, ass nigga. nigga. Isn't that kind of creepy? Shut up. You're scared. That when the Titans figure out you can't control your powers, they gon' cast you out. And they will, cause they ain't your friends. But you see, I can help you. I can teach you how to control your powers. But uh, what about my friends? <laughs> Bitch, f your friends. It's just a matter of time for a slide on them niggas. But this <laughs> boy promised me. F that pointy eared ass. <laughs> that loud mouth ass boy, you know he gon' tell him. But he promised me. He ain't promised you shit. Look, I get it that it's CJ's. But let's face it, if you've seen the real one, it's kind of the same way. It's just that, basically, Slade, like, put this thought in her head, like, Oh, nah, y'all telling me, yeah, yeah. like, y'all supposed to be my friends and such. Y'all supposed to, especially with Beast Boy, that like, I hope you didn't tell nobody. And Beast Boy didn't. He really didn't. Even, it's like this. This is why I love the original two times. Even though Beast Boy was some, we all know Beast Boy sometimes is a goofy boy, like funny and all. But sometimes in the in sometimes in the in each scene, he shows like a little bit of smartness, a little bit of trustworthy and such. Like character, like you. That's why I say with that one, I see it's more entertainment, more character based, more drama, more everything. Better than the cartoon one, cause let's face it, with the cartoon one, it's just mostly like funny jokes, for like a pleasing to like little kids. And nigga, I ain't lit. I ain't. A, I'm even though I'm 22 and all that, but I'll always be a kid at art. But come on, man. Sometimes kids don't. It's not all the time. It's not all kids who wants to see just fart jokes or funniness and such. Sometimes some kids wants to see a little character development. And me. I like the old type, the old T Titans. If you, if you know, you know. You can't even control shit with your sorry ass. You <laughs> need me, ho. Get your ass up. I don't need you. Invite Tara to join the team. Robin's like, you're a great fit, but we can tell that you can't control your powers. And that is where it so happened. She ended up freaking out, thinking that Beast Boy said something, but he actually ain't say nothing. They just figured it out. And she ended up running away. And guess who she ran to? The Nika. Nika is a demon. He planted the seeds in her head. And Don't all she literally had to do was just wait. So some time passes, and she ends up coming back, and she can control her powers. Hmm, something's real fishy here. 
So she ends up joining the team again, but obviously she has other ulterior motives. So she ends up going on a date with Beast Boy, so they leave. And when they leave, Cyborg get up and he like, God, dog, no. ball hungry as a bitch. <laughs> hey, nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on this glit. On this what? Okay, oh, nigga. Shit. Yo, this man Cyborg really got caught in 4K with the glizzy. So Tara ended up taking down the entire. No freaky, nigga. Shout out to Schoolface John. No freaky. <laughs> Yo, this man Cyborg really got caught in 4K with the glizzy. Pause. Tara <laughs> ended up taking down the entire security of the Titans Tower. So while the Titans are getting jumped by all the slate pots, Tara's on her date with the Beast Boy. So they in this Ferris wheel. And when they try to kiss, this man Slade is in the <laughs> corner yeah. just chilling. Yeah, creepy ass motherfucker. Bro's like, oh, so y'all motherfuckers just gonna act like I ain't here and shit. I nigga, nobody want to know that you were here, fucking creepy ass nigga. All right, then. So he walks over, throws Beast Boy out of the Ferris wheel, starts whipping his ass. So they end up retreating into the House of Mirrors, and this man Slade looking like one of the tethered in us. So then it's revealed that Tara is Slade's apprentice. I mean, if you couldn't see the signs from a mile away. So then Beast Boy started raging out, but Slade just pulled the cookie on him. So after they finished scrapping, Beast Boy's like, wow, so you just gonna play with my feelings like that? I right, then, no wonder you ain't got no friends. Beat Damn. the traffic, ho. Damn. You are not him. And that was the final straw that finally ended up breaking her. And this man Slade had this all planned out. This man is a different type of menace. Bruh's like, my apprentice, you shall now serve me in this whack ass suit with the big. Like, okay, now we just gotta say this. And when when Robin was his apprentice, you saw he wearing a cool ass outfit, kind of like Slate's. So you need to tell me, you couldn't have gave her the same exact shit, or just give her that one, but she had to make her look like a freaking mummy and shit. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> Ass feet, them fat ass size fifty twos. My God, you giving Sora a run for his money with those big ass, big fat ass, ass, big ass steel toed boots. God damn, them military ass, ass shoes. Hell. So some days later, the military ass shoes down the street and they get hit by this rock, and it was Tara in this whack ass suit. And she's like, like, hey pussies, and of course this man slayed in her earpiece. Yeah, that's right. I like that shit. I like that shit. So she starts scrapping with them. And then it's revealed that Slade has control of her suit. And he has direct access to her nervous system. So bro takes over and just starts going buck wild. So the Titans end up having to dip. So then later on, Slade sends Tara to break out cinder block plasma. Alright, so just to let y'all know, once the 17th... Like I said, I reacted to it before, but hey, I just want to react to it again. So just to let y'all know how much I love it. So once I hit the 17 mark at a certain part of it, I'm making sure I'm gonna let y'all know I'm gonna mute it or I'm at least turn it down a bit. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take that. I'm gonna mute it because I I'm a, it's basically like this. There's an Undertaker like sound effect there, and I am not trying to get scared. Miss and overload, and all the Titans ended up getting body man. It, yeah, it they got right after that. So this man Slate took over the entire city. Yo, right. where the f is the Justice League at, my man? Nigga, at that point, fuck the Justice League. The minute he started taking over the world, what the Justice League going to? So the Titans end up having to come back and jump Terra. So while this girl is running for her life, getting the absolute break speed off of her, she runs back to Slade like Slade. I can't do it. Then he socks her in the face. So I was like, hmm, you thought what they did to you was bad? Oh, please, just wait till what I'm about to do to your ass. So this man just starts beating it down right out here. Of her. Bro's like, you had the one job and you running away like a bitch? Oh, nah, little boo boo, that ain't gonna do. So now Slade is controlling her, about to make her kill Beast Boy. But then with but the power of friendship. The power of friendship. She ended up breaking free. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna take it off now, y'all. So, yeah. And then the menace Slade ended up falling to his demise. And that was the end of his. Sorry, y'all, I had to. I'm not here. I'm not trying to hear that Undertaker shit. Wait for it. Bang, wait for back from the grave, nigga. Hey, else for my respect, my ass, nigga. Is obviously 
still obsessed thinking he could come back one day. The freaking so dusty ass man. Cinder block, Robin is in this dark forest. And he ends up seeing Slade, so he starts tracking him down. So Slade's like, oh, Robin, wouldn't you like to stop me again? I got these three bombs placed around the city. Can you defuse them in time? So then everybody else pulls up, and Robin's like, guys, Slade, he's back. So yeah, so at that point, this nigga Robin, we all thought he, at this point, he is gone, right? Died, went into lava, burned alive. Still to that day, even though he's dead, Nick Slade is still in his kin head and fucking with his brain, even when he's not there. That just shows you the psych. That just shows you the fuck up ability in the head that Slade had. Like even though this nigga is dead, even in your dreams, even in your head, he gonna fuck you up. Robin was like, wait, what you mean, cuz we literally saw that man drown in lava. But Robin's like, nah, I swear to God, I saw that nigga. So Robin sends them out to find the bombs, but they can't find absolutely nothing. So then Robin sees Slade again and he starts boxing him up. So then he ends up running right past Starfire. So Robin's like, hey, the f girl, what are you doing? He's right there. But she's like, uh, Robin, what the hell have you been smoking? Cuz there's yeah, nobody there. Like nigga, he he's not even there. Like like he said, we saw the nigga went in the lava. He gone. So there's no reason why he should be smoke smoking too much, nigga. Unless I look, I ain't trying to say hit that slave pack, but nigga, you probably hit that pack way too strong, nigga. You starting to see him. So Robin ends up running off back to Slade's old base. So he ends up seeing him again. So he's like, ah, oh, Robin, hello, glad you could make it. So Robin starts swinging again, but then Slade just starts beating the absolute hell out of this nigga. He is beating him like he's never beat him before. Like this isn't even a fight, this is just a pummel. So the other Titans pull and up fact that, and him. And it's like this. I paused it right here, cause Imagine this, right? You see your team captain, right? Car Look. Fuck this being about cartoon. Fuck this being about anime. Just. You see your team captain. And he's getting his ass whooped. Like this, right? Just getting hit by Nothing. He's getting hit. You see him tearing up and such. His costume and all. Basically, you see it is getting his ass whooped. And it's by nothing. Not by no shit. Because don't look, there's something called shadow boxing where you're just fighting your own shadow, but nigga, not even a shadow. I know damn well even your shadow won't be able to whoop your ass like that. Like, nigga, what the f? The cyborg like, uh, my nigga, are you good? But Robin just keeps on insisting that Slade is here, so they just have to <laughs> shoot him. So they end up strapping Robin on this bed. Might as well, because nigga was going crazy. Outside and Robin is in this room alone. He ends up seeing Slade again. So I was like, Robin, what are you doing? Let me get you out of those restraints. So some minutes later and then everybody realized, oh my God, yo, where did this man just go? So Raven tries to find him, so she ends up going in his mind. And yo, you can just see all the trauma this man has. If you look closely, you can literally see his parents falling to their death off of Damn. the trapeze. Like, I know this is supposed to be a kid show. And that's the thing too. It's supposed to be a freaking kid show. A kid. Nigga. You should. The fact that I e it was supposed to be a kid show and you showing shit like that that just shows you a different level the OG Teen Titans was on. Cause I can see why now they had to wanna bring in the kids one and all, but come on man. I don't give a F about that. That was that right that was like like Nigga, what the F moments you needed to have in your shows. But Jesus Christ, 
So Raven finally ends up getting into his mind. So she's like, see, Robin, there's absolutely nobody. Fuck out, nigga. So then Raven's like, you see me. Like, no, nah, he's not tripping. So meanwhile, exactly. cut to Slade just whooping Robin. As usual. Absolutely, brutally pummeling. Nigga, it's like at this point, you need a gun. Because if a nigga is whooping my ass this bad, I'm sorry. I don't care how much wrestling I know. I don't care how much martial arts I know. I don't care how much karate. The capoeira or whatever. Nigga. If I'm getting my ass whooped this bad. And at this point, I don't care if it's by somebody I can't see. Or if somebody I do see. If I'm getting my ass whooped this bad, I'm getting a gun. And I don't even rock with, and not to say I'm against guns and all, I don't even just like touching one, much less seeing it. But I'm just saying, at this point, I'm getting a gun and fucking airing you out, cause nigga, you was not finna embarrass me like this, especially in front of my team. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. You're not finna make me look like a jackass. And that's the last thing I'm ever doing too. Don't beg. Who begging? I ain't no. I'm a Jamaican. We don't beg for shit. Well, sometimes we beg, but when it comes to certain shit like this, we ain't begging none of that. Fuck all that. This lady's like, nah. I will never stop. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your goddamn mind. And if you don't. Absolutely never rest, and neither will you. But Robin ends up turning on the light and finally stops him. And he ends up figuring out that this man Slade had one last trick to have this toxic dust from his mask enter Robin so he could beat the shit out of this nigga in his head. Oh my god. Oh, buddy, that's just taking it just too far. The fact that that was the case. Cause I was, cause honest to God, I was wondering how, like, I didn't know then, but I'm gonna wonder now how in the world that you're get that even that he's dead, right? He's dead. How the can you still be able to see him in your head and he's picking you up this mentally? It's that damn gas. It was that damn dust and shit. Man said, even in death, I will still whoop your ass. So we gotta be thinking, all right, this is finally the end of slavery. It's gotta be no. over, right? Psych! Again. Man comes back from the dead. Nigga is back Yo, the from the fuck? dead. There is no stopping this man. So they obviously like, yo, wait, wait, hold on. How are you here? The bro's like, oh, uh, well, you see, Raven, your daddy has given me a second chance at life. Freaking oh, try, God. So I'm a firebender now. So then he starts. So, so now, so not only this nigga came back, but now he got new powers. You think he was already dominant before he died. Now that he's back. And now he got fire. Now he a freaking firebender, like he says. Freaking fire nation. When the fire nation attack ass nigga, what the? Freaking happen, man. This just shows you, nigga. Slade was just up there on a different level. Like, what? Whooping the whole crew. Man's just playing with his food. Then he pulls up on Raven and he's like, I must deliver the message. So Raven ended up having to use So hard on But that shit didn't work. But that did not work at Nigga think he was Jojo and had that hormone energy. Nah. Oh bro is still moving. So Robin ends up boxing him up, but dog just Hold on, shivered it's it gonna, oh, my it's gonna be the part. I was like, hmm, I have been dead for a minute. Thank you, Robin, for uh loosening my bones. So he ended up tracking. This gonna be the part now, y'all. So y'all might not hear me, but I've already watched. The world. He absolutely traumatized her. So then he just drops her off the building. He's like, sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not hearing it. So sorry. If y'all don't like me doing that, screw y'all. I don't care. I'm a da da da. -da -mm. I'm just doing this right now. Mm. But it's still a badass, you know. Doing this and then bringing like Undertaker to the bottom. They just started biting everybody. 
then Cyborg basically shot a Kamehameha at this nigga. <laughs> he just ate it. Bro didn't Twitch even move. It. Like it was he not. ended up just having to give herself up. So Slade was technically an accomplice to causing the end of the world. So let's see, this man basically just killed 7.7 .7 billion people. <laughs> so then after this, Trigon ended up betraying him. So then Slade has to end up working with Robin. So Robin can get <laughs> the guy that you've been tormenting for freaking 11 plus episodes and such, you now gotta work with him. Get Raven back and so Slade can get his body back. Cause the deal that Slade made with Trigon is that if he will bring Raven to him, he will give him his flesh back. But Trigon forfed on this man, he was capping. So they ended up splitting up, so Robin's like, all right, so where you going? And Slade's like, down a little further. You see, people like me, when they die, go to really, really hot places, you feel me? I'm talking like Nashville chicken, my nigga. So Damn, on Slade the hotness. This door with this ginormous boss looking character guarding the thing. Doll looking like a soul's boss. And Doll's like, what you seek. You shall not reclaim. You shall not pass. Nigga, if you don't get your ass up out of here. Bro is actually getting packed up. So then the dude says, You cannot hope to defeat pure evil. Then Slay's like, <laughs> Bitch. Nigga, who the f do you think I am? So then he ends up blowing this man to bits. And he ends up getting his whole body back. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> Pure evil. Buddy, I am pure evil. Huh, I'll be taking that axe too. So then while the Titans are fighting Trigon, this man Slade comes from the top rope and cuts off one of his horns. <laughs> I was like, hmm, these are my kids to torment. So f off. And also you gonna hold me and lie to me? <laughs> Eat my dick. So they ended up just jumping Trigon and he was just done for. So then Slate dips and he doesn't appear till the final episode of the show, which is one of the weirdest endings I have ever seen. So this man Beast Boy goes back to the House of Mirrors because Tara's back and everything, but she don't remember nothing. And then Slate yeah, just starts like freaking like, freaking men in blacks just memory wiped. Like you know, Tara never liked you, right? Your breath stank. <laughs> Musty and you dusty. No wonder she don't want to remember your ass. So then bro comes from the roof and starts beating the hell out of him. But then Beast Boy ends up ramming him into this roller coaster. But it wasn't Slade. It was one of his bots. And the bot keeps on repeating. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you. Oh my goodness, bro. This man passes. Yep. With ease. He passed with ease. This man is a demon, and we just focusing on the kids' show. I mean, this is the same man that drove his daughter to insanity, <laughs> stole the speed force, <laughs> and the amount of people this man has killed. Nah, bro. This man is a menace. Hey. Shout out to freaking CJ the Champ, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to him, bro. All I'm saying is if you want to. If you want to get a certain aspect of a character, whether it's anime, cartoon, whatnot, right? If you want to get the certain characteristics of basically of how this character is and just in raw form, not no scientific like, just straight up, right? Like, in simplest terms, nigga, like that, you gotta hit up CJ the Champ because, hey. That's how basically how I get to know some of these anime characters and some well-known characters that I've known and such, like Slade and such. Like, bro, the fact that this nigga Slade, for the other ones, I don't care. It's still shocking, but it's just the way how he manipulated Robin. The fact that this man got him to be such, basically... Mariah kept made this man be a Mariah Carey why he was so obsessed with this nigga that he became a villain just to know that Slade already know who he is and freaking became his apprentice just so Slade wouldn't kill him with the probes he had and then literally when he was gone like literally got burned alive in the lava even in his even in his death 
he was still whooping his ass both physically and mentally. Bro, what? If that don't say psychology, man, he gives the Undertaker a run for his money, and the Undertaker in WWE is known for mind games. But even with all due respect to the Undertaker, I'm a WWE, I'm a wrestling fan through and through. But with all due respect to him, not even his ass can do something like this. I'm sorry. And yes, it's a gimmick and all character, and I love it. But let's face it. Not even, even his, even his ass would be like, nah, that's fucked up. And he's known to fucked up some dude, do some fucked up shit in WWE. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And like I said, shout out to CJ the champ, man. I'm gonna make sure I keep on coming to you, man, cause shit. Sometimes with you, you're, the way how you explain these are entertaining as hell. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let's go.